Hi, I'm Sarah Valentine. I've had a really interesting career at East Sussex County Council, mainly as a highways engineer, and I've spent an awful lot of my time designing and developing highway improvement schemes across the county. Things like traffic calming for villages, pedestrian crossings outside schools, new cycleways, and also some really big things like some brand new roads and dual carriageways. The most fun I've had though is when I've been out on site supervising the construction of schemes that I've been involved in developing. You get to be outdoors, which is always a bonus, and you get to work with a huge range of different people from your normal day to day work. The actual people laying the curbs and the tarmacs to, to build your schemes and also people like ecologists, making sure that all the various wildlife is safe for what we're doing. It's a really, really good way, though, to learn is to see things that you've designed actually being built and it helps you make the things you design in the future much better. What's really good, though, is to see the end result and to see what you have designed making a real difference to people's lives. Maybe the children can get to school much more easier because you've put in traffic calming and a pedestrian crossing. Um, let's... My current role is as Transport Strategy Manager for Transport for the South East Subnational Transport Body. Subnational transport bodies have been set up by the government to look on a regional level about the transport needs for the future. We're looking at an area from Kent to the Hampshire and Isle of Wight, from Berkshire and Surrey all the way down to the south coast, and looking at what the transport needs are for that area up to 2050. That's an area of 7 million people, and we're trying to think about how they will travel in 30 years time. Last year, we produced a transport strategy, which sets out how transport planning will help economic growth through that area. And we're now looking at what specific schemes and interventions will be needed to deliver that strategy. I'm bringing in my previous experience of delivering highway schemes, but then applying that to the future. For example, what will roads look like in 2050? There are some massive challenges ahead, particularly around transport decarbonisation. Electric cars are all well and good, but they won't solve the problems of traffic jams. So what else is it we need to do? How do things like e-scooters, drones and robot deliveries fit into that package? COVID-19 has had a really big impact on the way people travel. But will those changes stick? Will people continue to work at home? If so, will there be less traffic in peak times? And do we actually need more 5G connectivity for our digital purposes than we do to actually be able to get out and drive in our cars? There's some really big questions in the work that we're looking at, but it's really exciting to be involved and shape how the future may be. The world around us is changing and really fast, especially perhaps in the last year through the COVID pandemic. At work, I would say just keep learning and keep developing. Take any opportunities that are offered to you, you will always find something that's interesting and useful that you can apply in your work. Even when things aren't going so well, there's always something you can learn from it and you can take into the future. Outside of work, I like to try new hobbies. I'd always been an active person doing loads of cycling and loads of aerobics, but a few years ago I learned to play tennis, a completely different sport. That's made me new friends and given me new skills. I also really like baking. It's something totally different from the technical side of my work life, much more creative. I also find it a really great way to de-stress and you've got a really nice cake at the end of it. I would say just go for it. There's absolutely no reason why not. Girls and women are really good at STEM subjects. And in the workplace, we can often bring a different perspective or a different way of working that really benefits the outcomes. I never really saw myself as a girl in STEM. It was just those subjects were the ones that I was interested in. There are so many opportunities to work in the STEM field. So if it's something that interests you, just go for it and you'll be great.